Hello, I'm Sophia and I delivered my baby at Doctors Hospital. The last weeks have been wonderful, but also pretty exhausting. And today I'm meeting with registered dietitian Ms. Brandy Propas from Doctors Hospital to learn how to improve my diet and stay healthy during this special time. Hi Sophia, how are you doing today? Hi Brandy, I'm fine, thank you. How's everything going with baby? So far so good. Quite an adjustment? Absolutely. A little bit, yes. How can I help you today? What brings you here? I have a couple of questions with regards to an ideal diet, if that's okay. Um, so my first question is, with me breastfeeding, what is an ideal diet for that? The main thing I'd say with breastfeeding is to really stay hydrated. If you stay well hydrated, your milk supply will be sufficient for the day. However, staying hydrated, a lot easier said than done, especially with baby. Baby takes up a lot of time. Sometimes even just getting in a glass of water can be a challenge for the day. So that would be the first thing is to really stay, try and stay hydrated and drink enough water. The second thing is to also make sure you eat. Because again, baby takes up a lot of time and you're always focused on baby that, you know, the day could go by and you could actually realize that you haven't even had much to eat. So to help make sure you're eating healthy foods, try and plan ahead as much as possible. That way you're not as likely to grab those high calorie, high fat snacks. So what you wanna focus on is some whole grains, you wanna have lots of vegetables and fruit, and also some protein. And is there anything specifically that I should avoid? Uh, the good news is, is you can actually reintroduce some of those foods that you had to cut out during pregnancy. So you can have soft cheeses again, you can have your deli meats as well. One thing I would say to still try and avoid is the high mercury fish. I don't want you to avoid fish altogether because fish is really good in omega-3, which is great for the baby's development and for you as well, but still try and avoid those high mercury fish. The other thing that you wanna avoid or cut back on rather is caffeine. So you can still have that cup of coffee in the morning to help wake you up, but try and keep caffeine to one or two cups a day and not much more than that. And then obviously alcohol. So the odd glass of wine, again, that's okay, but keep in mind that alcohol takes two to three hours to clear from your system. So you'll need to do some planning with regards to feeding times if you are gonna have a drink. And uh, is there anything you can advise me on with regards to losing the couple of extra pounds I gained during pregnancy? The first thing I would say is don't be too hard on yourself. Your body's been through a lot. Those extra couple of pounds are okay for now. Don't be too hard on yourself. The good news is, is breastfeeding for a lot of women actually helps to encourage weight loss as well. So you might find that just by breastfeeding, you are able to lose some weight also. The other thing I would say is try and be as active as possible, even if that's pushing baby in the stroller once or twice a day, that activity level will also help with the weight loss. Staying hydrated, as we talked about before, will also help. And again, just making good food choices for, or not forgetting to eat and trying to plan ahead and to eat um, as well-balanced meal as you can. That's some fantastic advice, thank you. Mm -hmm.